Yo guys, what's good? Just a real quick one before we start today's episode. As some of you may be aware, we are doing a Ramadan 2021 fundraiser. Uh, all details will be in the description below if you're on YouTube. If you're not on YouTube, go over to the H-Squared podcast uh, Instagram um, and you can find details about it there. We appreciate any donations. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the episode. Thank you. Now, bro, I'll be honest with you, today's what, the 21st? Yeah. Yeah, but you get used to it. Big man saying, I'm not even hungry or thirsty right now. Yeah. Can't relate. I could eat a sheep. And I don't even <laughs> like sheep, bro. Really? Well, I'm starving. Man said, long hair nuge. Can you tell us, please, what's going on? Man <laughs> <laughs> said, what's going on? Like, no, no, I think like, it looks nice, but can you... Exp- do you know what it brief is? Brief us, like, I don't right. think the audience is ready for this Shall long-haired okay, version of I'll tell you, I'll tell you the saying. real reason why I grew up. Hey, okay. you're looking at you, you have to find something else. Huh? Hey, that's what you look, so you have to find something <laughs> Trust else. Trust me, man. <laughs> you you stop the hairstyles. Trust me. It looks nice on you, though. Thank you. So bro. I tried, um, sure I like for those that don't know, well, you probably saw it on an Instagram story, and I told you a couple days ago. Not Insta- Instagram Live, sorry, and I told him a couple days ago. I auditioned for a movie, and that was meant to be on Netflix, yeah? Okay. And... I had I have to grow my hair for it. Like I have to grow hair to audition. Basically. Oh, that's why you done it. Yeah, to 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 oh. get auditions. Basically, it's better. You don't have to, but it's better to grow your hair because then they can do whatever they want with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you get it? Whereas if I have a buzz cut, which is my normal hair, yeah, yeah. if I get a buzz cut, it's gonna be very very hard to. Mm. Like if they need someone with a long hair or they need someone from like a certain part of the world where they they have like messy hair or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't really fit in too much in it. Well, is that your thing, like acting? Well, I, 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 want, I want to get into it, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. I want to get it. So I've done that audition. Yeah. I didn't get it, but there might be something else in the pipeline. So I was like, oh, let me just keep it for now. Yeah. And if I don't get that, I'll just shave off. Yeah, nice. No, but yeah. yeah. And it, it, it looks, I'm not going to lie to you, it doesn't look as nice. It makes, I think it makes me look a bit older. Yeah. But I'm rolling with it, man. It's a bit messy. I don't like it. It's a bit, it's a bit long to take care of. I don't know how you used to manage it, Wallah. Was that long hair? Yeah, I just man. I got used to it, bro. Ever since, ask him, ever since a kid, I always had long yeah. hair, in it? So yeah, no, I did as well. At one point, I was like, primary school mm. yeah. then when i got to like year eight i just started to put it to the side and then ever yeah. since then it's always been like long on the side and yeah you know i might shave it off soon i might just relapse no you know when we first started h squared yeah I that remember. that that style was that's that's one of my you. favorites yeah that's basically just like <clears throat> a month probably after a bus cut so yeah. i don't touch the top of a month after a bus cut yeah. and it just about goes to the side then i can kind of gel it to the side that looks that looks Lewis, do you remember uh all the asians in uh school yeah, yeah. Uh, back in primary school days we all used to have spiky hair um i remember wet yeah. look gel from Asda. yeah i used to have that as well i remember we used to go swimming at school yeah and afterwards like all the white and asian kids would be sitting there gelling <laughs> the hell yeah and i'll just be there like my afro coat <laughs> bare diet i was bare trust depressed. me man oh i tried gel my hair bare times you know try to spike it up into a mobile yeah yeah, yeah yeah it didn't, didn't work man. should i tell you a mad story of afro chrome afro chrome okay. it's uh do you use the one that's got a metal pot yeah, yeah, yeah all right let me tell you a mad story yeah right. i don't know if you know this as well you know basically doesn't uh, ring any bells yeah once i was in a playground uh yeah. at school high school nonce uh, <laughs> <laughs> Like, this guy needs help, bro. <laughs> nah, you learned that well, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, uh, you're different. I was, in a, I was in a playground, yeah? I was, I think it was year 10. I think, year 9, year yeah. 10. And um, my boy saw me in the playground. I'm just walking, lunchtime, ch- chilling, just minding yeah. my business by myself. And my boy sees me. And then as a joke, he's, hey, grab Hussein, grab Hussein. Yeah. So then two guys come and grab me. Mm. And like, he's coming up to me with the, with the comb. Yeah, yeah. And he's using the metal part yeah. as like a, a shank. As a joke, innit? Yeah, he's yeah. like, come, come, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. So I was like, what? Bro, I, sw- I, I went like that to his hand, yeah? yeah? I was like, move. Went like that to his hand. Like, obviously, we're still joking these times. Yeah. Bro, I look at his hand, the comb's gone. Yeah. I look at my hand, the metal part is in here. Swear. I swear to God, bro. I look at my hand. Imagine, do you know how messed it, bro? I still uh, remember it. I looked at my hand. I'm like this. I'm yeah, looking at my hand, and you just see a comb coming out the hand. side of my hand, bro. Yeah, that's mad. I, I, bro, that's like, I was in shock, and I was shaking. I was shaking. I was shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I was shaking butters, man. Bro, it was mad Did you go to hospital? I just told my boy quickly Like take it out Take it out Yeah, yeah. And then He was like no 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 I was like bro just I tried to take it out I was a bit like scared Because yeah, yeah. like, you're, you're just in shock And he just pulled it out Which in hindsight Probably wasn't the best thing to do Because if there was bleeding, bleeding Yeah if yeah. there was bleeding Then I could have been messed Pulled it out Bro just like a drip of blood And then I went to the bathroom Washed it off Went and told the head teacher What happened She was like yeah yeah go home Went home bro I was completely normal Bro yeah. I said, go home. Swear yeah, down. Trust like, me that. No Chill. scar, nothing. Like, it missed all the veins. Yeah. Everything, bro. You're lucky, bro. Yeah. That's mad. Wait, Wait, you, is that a you. footprint on that cushion? Or is it me? That looks yeah. like a footprint. Potentially, it's probably yours. No, no, no. Because I took my shoes off when I was Sick. doing the flag. Nice. Hold on, man. Anyways, are you okay now, though, yeah? 
I recovered, man. Yeah. It's been a couple, yeah, a couple of years, man. No, I think I fully recovered now. P- yeah. PTSD, though. Or uh, not that? really. It was just, I just, I will never forget that yeah, that yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Where I just looked at my hand in the playground and I just see a comb sticking out of it. I've yeah. never broken a bone or anything, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You were lucky. I know you broken a, a leg or something. Yeah, I broke my knee. Yeah. Oh, broke so my knee. Yeah. That's mad. How'd you do that? Play rugby. School again, bro. That school was a curse, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I went. Was playing rugby in PE. I think it was my second PE session doing rugby. First PE session, my teacher gassed me. He goes, oh, you, and he picked out, I think, three other guys. Yeah. He goes, you guys are going to be good at rugby. Yeah. You're physical, blah, blah, like, use this to your advantage. Next week, I want to see you go hard. I was like, yeah, say nothing. Yeah. Next week there, I get the I get the, the rugby ball. I'm running, 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 just about to put it down for a try, and a youth comes and spears me from the side. Yeah. I flipped, go onto the floor, and I couldn't move my leg, and then Bruh. straight away, I felt the pain. Yeah. The white kids money. at my school love rugby, bro. Yeah, they, they love it. Love it's like a middle bro. class, yeah. like, white Trust guy me, man, sport. with their big hockey sticks. I had no... That. White but I said hockey sticks. No, I'm joking. Wait, what? <laughs> I know you don't play. Before you say something, I know you don't play hockey stick. Uh, oh, I thought you were playing hockey stick with rugby. Oh, with rugby? No, yeah, no, 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 no. I thought you were gonna say. You I'm can't. just making the. Comp- right, never mind. What polo and that, them man? Yeah, I'm just trying yeah. to be one of them. Oh, do you remember yeah. we played lacrosse in primary school? Yeah, that was lit. You know, yeah. that was actually a lit sport. You lot come from the. Nah, but but to be fair, lacrosse, that was for like you know? one one or two sessions. Yeah, no, that was like one or two like sessions. Like one, one guy came in some, just like... From Australia, Montana yeah. or something. I was like, you remember right, the name? Yeah, because I remember, my, you remember the thingy, I'm going to say names. You know, remember Ryan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He He's taking a piss out of his name for saying, oh, your name sounds like Hannah Montana. Oh, no. Nah, I don't no, know. No. I, I just remember that. Shout out. I don't right. know how I got that memory, bro. Oh, you're a first appearance on camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lewis, chat to them, bro. You know what is? I thought... We got I a lot of demand, by the way, to say the guy behind that voice. Please yeah, yeah. put him on camera. Well, so me and Hayden had deep in it. Yeah, That's they cap. liked it. They liked it. They like the cap. They, they like the words you were using as well. You know, in the, that episode. Oh, about oh, you got feelings online. You got destroyed in that clip on TikTok. Oh yeah, dictatorship. When you said dictatorship, everyone was like, "Whoever said dictatorship needs to be cancelled." Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Lucky your face wasn't showing because they probably thought it was me or him. Yeah, I think they thought it was me. Oh, they thought it was you. They, I, I stopped taking my man seriously as soon as he said dictatorship. I was like, the voices are completely it. different, man. Yeah, it's mad. You know what uh, I'm you got some fans online, though, you're saying. I was reading YouTube comments the other day. One guy was just riding out for you. What? <laughs> he was just riding out bro, for me? What he was just in the comments, like, bro, he's saying such a sick guy. Everything he says is like, bro, he's like, saying he's got what? fans, bro. <laughs> he what, was what making this fans. I can't make, oh, I think it might be the one we did even. Was it the... It might be in the catching feelings online one. Oh, that's my brother right there, man. Yeah. Probably me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Just, like, had, to, just had to. To be fair, my, I thought it might be in you. The way he was talking about. Boost my stock like, a little bit. Oh, well, sometimes uh, people write paragraphs on YouTube comments. Yeah, it's I'm nice though. Like, oh, like, they give, they give like. Do you like give me? Back. Yeah, no, it's nice, man. It's nice. What do you guys read? All, do you read all your comments? Yeah, yeah. practically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hader, um, Hader reads uh, a lot. Uh, <laughs> when, especially when they're negative, he'll he'll yeah. read them a couple times. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? TikTok, I don't read too much though. Yeah, why? That's just long. Dangerous place, isn't it? Now, now, TikTok, do you know what it is as well? Over it now. You just get bare comments as well, so you could just can't keep up with any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll keep up with all of them. Nah, nah, he was right. At one point, the, the negative ones, I used to be like, raw, like, bro, like, why are they saying this, yeah. bro? What, what the fuck? And then I was like, you know what? They probably just want to be in the position. Yeah, some people do it just yeah. to get like likes, yeah, like yeah, say yeah. something. Funny but the thing is, we, we've said this bare times in front of you as well. That like, TikTok as a platform as a whole, mm. it's just it's easy to talk shit because it's a very yeah. like you see a video next comment, you see a video mm. next comment. Yeah, so yeah. you don't really, you know, with Instagram you have that accountability because you can see your profile mm, and yeah. whatever, whatever. But speaking of socials, yeah, you man probably saw the video the other day on Insta, mm. um, where this. I can't even remember the clip, bro. I'll be honest. I just saw it in, in glancing and then I was like, oh, I need to watch this. Mm. It's basically um, a guy is, well, there's four guys. It's part of a TV show. There's yeah. four guys who are watching what their missus have, has been up to. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, in, wh- whilst they've been away, basically. And um, basically some guy was watching his girl getting beat yeah. by another man, yeah? That's the mad. ginger, you in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So j- this is what's mad, yeah? I actually watched the... Uh, <laughs> I actually looked at what it was called. It's called mm-hmm. Temptation Island. Yeah, yeah. And I looked at it, yeah. Like, I, I'm, I watched season one and I'm on season two. So oh. season one's done. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they've finished. The people who have gone into the villa have gone. And they've come out and blah, blah. So essentially, for those who don't know, it's basically four couples who have sort of like um, questions about their relationship. Mm. They go into a villa. Um, the four women are separated and they're put into a villa. Mm-hmm. And then the four men are separated and they're put into a villa. And they don't see each other for 20 days. Mm-hmm. And for those 20 days, they're joined with 12 single people from the opposite sex, yeah, yeah. basically. Yeah. So the men are joined by women, the women are joined by men. And the role of these lot is to find love and like tempt them as much as you can and mm-hmm. blah, blah. Out of the four couples, 
how many do you think done nothing at all? Now, I've already asked you, innit? So. Mm. I don't think anyone passed. Let you don't think anyone passed? 2021, like, I don't yeah. think... I'd like to think at least one couple survived, yeah. but... <sighs> okay, so this is the thing, yeah? From <laughs> season one... Wait, sorry, can I clarify? Yeah? yeah, See the single people who are in the house? Yeah. Are they purposely trying to attempt... The yes, but they, but they the do show, like them. The they do like show, them, yeah. okay, okay, but okay. they're purposely trying to be <clears throat> flirtatious. And like, bro, you'll see it on the first day, like the first evening, they're like touching hands and they're touching yeah, shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And the guys are like, oh, like relax a little bit. And yeah, the guys yeah. are like biting their lip and shit, like proper cringe shit, but yeah, yeah. it's working to, a, to some of them, isn't it? Hmm. Um, so yeah, the first <laughs> season, for those who don't want spoilers, the first season, um, one couple survived. Yeah. But, there's a but, that couple... The reason they went into that is because the guy in the relationship has previously cheated. Okay, yeah. Okay? So it's not like he's completely clean. Yeah, yeah. Do you get my point? So it got me thinking, and I was just watching it, like, how, like, can anyone be tempted in the right situation if everything was to align perfectly? Do you think there's, any, do you think there's people out there who, are, who cannot be tempted at all, who are just exempt from temptation? In a relationship. No, I think everyone can be tempted to an extent. But we don't even have to talk about in a relationship. We'll speak about in a relationship. Yeah, but yeah. people, I feel like people have different drives in life, innit? Some people, it's like worldly stuff. Some people, it's like, oh, the appearance and like, they like attention. Like a lot of the guys were struggling because they, they weren't used to this amount of attention from females, innit? Like all yeah, touching yeah, and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Some people, it's money. So like, I'll ask my boy sometimes, like, I'll just be chilling in a shisha cafe and I'll just like speak and, speaking to them. And I'll say some wild shit here. I'll be like, bro, would you do this for 50 bags? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he yeah, starts thinking, he day. starts calculating. He's like, oh, 50 bags. I was like, 100 bags. Nah, man, more, more rules. I could never look at my mum in the face. Yeah. 1.5 mil. Yeah, say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do you get me? Yeah. So, temptation is dangerous, bro. The one you asked bro. me that day at Fingy's house. What did I ask you? I can't, I can't say I'm I've asked wrong. so many, bro. I can't, I can't remember. Like, I've asked some mad shit. And I've so asked some mad shit. i touching the guy's back for like something, mil- something bro, billion. Bro, bro, man, then we'll do it, though. Like, Bro, it's not that uncommon. I'm sure a couple of viewers right now, if you told them, would you touch the same gender's backs, yeah, and like grab it or whatever in it for, for 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 like it's a mil, mad for like mad. a <laughs> for like a mil, mad would you do it, bro? A lot of men would say yeah. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's a sticky no, one. No, he's thinking about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's calculating. He's, he's calculating. Group. But he's now, calculating. I, I think I think everyone could be tempted. Yeah, I, I, I think no one's a saint, bro. Yeah, I think I agree. I think. Like you said, there's levels to it though. Some people it's going to take more than others. Mm. But mm. yeah, I'd like to think so anyway, but... But do you not like, feel like... I don't know if it's the same for men and women though, because I feel like women think that like some men out there can't be tempted at all or that, that they can't be tempted. Bro, there was one, yeah. one girl in season two, she's telling her man, don't be tempted, don't be tempted. You're like, come on man, like, this is our relationship. You've cheated in the past. You need to prove yourself to me, blah, blah, blah. This is that. She's getting angry at him. Brother, first week. She cheated. She's getting ploughed. Oh, that's the one? No, a different uh, one. First week, bro. Fam, that's disgusting. And he's been calm. Mm. And now he's watching her thinking, bro, like that. And then now he's gone and done the madness as well. But yeah, yeah man. I don't know. I feel like Maybe there's, there's, the there's unrealistic world, expectations on loyalty. See, I feel like it's hard because, like I said, some people... Some people in most situations wouldn't cheat. Like in that 20 days, they'll be calm. Yeah. But then like, I don't know. See, for example, you're some married couples and then like a woman, I don't know, like her work husband after like 10 years of constant flirting, con- like, do you know what I mean? Some people, it takes a lot longer for them to give in than others. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah. some people go to a club after 10 minutes, they're like, they've given in in it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But then there's even the argument that those who didn't cheat they might have not cheated because they knew their girl's watching. But they wanted to cheat, like. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah. or she didn't cheat because she knew her man was watching. Like, mm. I'm saying, had the situation been ideal, mm. where it's a locked room, you'll never know, whatever, mm. would you cheat? Would you, oh, no one's ever gonna know, bruv, like. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Obviously, when you, if you were to present an ideal situation, an ideal situation. Ideal for that, yeah. For, to allow someone to cheat yeah. successfully yeah, yeah, yeah. i know it sounds proper mad me saying it like that yeah. but let's be honest bro you're you if you've got like a 10 10 in front of you there's no cameras the doors locked. it's never gonna get out there's so many factors going in your favor yeah, yeah. bro most forget man in general just most people, people in yeah. general girls and guys bro everyone yeah. would be 
tempted, bro. But obviously, that's the whole that's the whole point of the show. I'm assuming to test that loyalty, to yeah. test that um, that inner like, just what's the word, man? Just like that grit. See, see how yeah, see yeah. how like mentally tough you really are, man. Because yeah. that's what it makes or breaks in it. Because in life in general, even taking like the show aside, like like there's always gonna be a girl who's prettier. Mm. There's always gonna be a girl with a bigger bum or bigger a bigger mm. boobs or for the for the girls there's always going to be a guy with a nicer car or a bigger mm. wallet or you know taller bigger muscles a nicer bit there's always going to be factors that yeah, play yeah. against the person you're with but mm. that's the whole point of of a relationship in it like that's the whole point you're supposed to stay loyal you're supposed yeah. to stay dedicated yeah. to the cause and you know it's not about like if if we were to live a life where we're constantly trying to find the next best thing mm. whether that's cars careers phones laptops whatever bro we'll just never ever be in my opinion anyways we'll just never ever be content and satisfied you know what i'm saying yeah okay no it's true do you know what it is i feel like people like new shiny toys yes do you get it like yeah yeah, yeah. you can have everything right at home bro but Mm. because there's something new now exciting it's a shiny toy you just want to bro it's not even a thing that you want to play with it for 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 months or weeks it's just one of the things it's just like i just i just want to play with it now in the and moment I'm in the moment mm. do you get me and that's with everything in life i feel like mm. even i don't know like for example like even if i say it related to football for example yeah, yeah, yeah. a player might not be playing the best right now but because there's someone else on the bench that's just there that's just saying bro yeah, give him a chance yeah i want him i want him yeah, yeah what if yeah. things fuck up now and do you get me it doesn't work out like a lot of these men are throwing away serious long-term relationships. By the way, which is very, very hard to find. Like, it's very mm. flipping hard to easy, find someone. It's easy. Well, I, I say it like I've got experience. It's easier to find, like, a short-term, fulfilling, like, fun moment yeah. with the opposite gender yeah. than it is to build a relationship and 100%, build bro. memories and fall in love and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. So, for them to do that on, on a TV show, that's a... But then again, it could be scripted, maybe. Is it nah, legit? bro, it looks real. Because yeah. I checked their Instagram after. Oh, I thought it was scripted. Okay. I just don't know why people will put themselves in that situation in the first place. Mm. I feel like it's a very, very situation well, to put yourself in. Like you're society, you're putting it, so. yourself, you're risking your whole relationship and you're putting it on the line for, like, and you're giving them the ideal situations to cheat yeah. and to be tempted. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? Like, I think it's mm. so dumb, bro. Mm. Yeah. So, so dumb. I think that's what makes it harder, the fact that the single people are maybe a bit more forthcoming. Yeah. Like, like I feel there's a lot of people who probably would cheat, mm. but, oh, they have it in them to cheat maybe, but they avoid certain situations. Yeah, yeah. Like guys mm. won't go to the club without their girl or they won't go parties because they know after a couple of drinks, they can't really handle the temptation. I think that's important, yeah. Mm, Whereas mm, like, mm. these guys like, put themselves in the lines then. And yeah. like, I don't know if I you think, don't remember, sorry. No, no, go on. I was just off that, I think, that's a very good point, actually, that you, I think everyone can be tempted, yeah, yeah. but it's about managing mm-hmm. the temptation. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You can be tempted, yeah. Like, temptation exists, yeah, yeah. but you can put yourself in a situation to not be tempted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get me? Like, we're humans, we're mm. weak, we're vulnerable mm. sometimes. Uh, we can make rash de- decisions with our emotion, whatever, our, yeah. our sex drive, whatever, yeah? But you don't put yourself in that situation to begin with. Like you said, for example, like if they're having a party, if I'm in the house and they're all having a party, I go upstairs and I sleep. Yeah, yeah, do you get me if they're doing crazy challenges I go inside and watch TV if I'm abroad my boys want to go to a club I'm like you know what man they're like let's respectfully go to a restaurant you man can go club and then I can go home and sleep yeah, yeah. there's certain things you can do put it in place so that you're not in that situation at definitely. all definitely now I was going to say before you said that point uh, I don't know if you don't remember uh, it wasn't even that long ago probably like maybe a couple months ago mm. uh, Meek Mill tweeted um, if you DM a girl and she replies saying that she's got a man carry on pursuing her because if she was really that loyal she wouldn't even reply in the first place mm. or something like that now obviously that's coming from Meek Mill he's got a bit of a reputation for being a bit of a loser <laughs> despite all, all the mad things he's done with Nicki uh, shout even out though I know he's one of my favourite rappers yeah, but like yeah, I'm yeah. talking his personality okay. he's a bit of a neek innit let's be real oh, he's the one who had the chips in his, uh, yeah, in his, his lap you know, L- <laughs> in the L- swimming he's, pool he's got an LV uh, swimming trunks yeah. in, in his Dry leg, bro, it's just disgusting. That's mad, bro. Man had fries in the swimming pool, bro. Trust me, man. Yeah. But um, that that's coming from someone who's a multi-millionaire who's yeah. probably got girls throwing themselves at, uh, throwing themselves at him, like yeah. left, right, and center, man. So yeah, it might that's true. I don't know. I feel like it works a bit different for America. for me because it does. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. If they reply like, to him, then yeah, there might be a bit of interest. Do you know what it is? I feel like people like to be tempted as well. Sometimes though, yeah. you like to see if you can. You still got it. that sauce. Have I still got it? Yeah, yeah you like yeah, to see, yeah, but yeah. sometimes it backfires, bro. And then you're like, oh shit. Yeah. Like this girl that I'm that I'm watching on the thing. Yeah. 
It's almost like she wanted to be tempted, bro. It's almost like she was inviting him to flirt with her. She was she was trying to flirt with him. Yeah. She was trying to push it back to the back of her mind, but you could tell she kind of wanted it, yeah? And then when it got out of hand and they yeah. did end up sleeping with each other, the regret she had was mad, bro. See? Mad regret. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people do go on that show to use it as an excuse, as like, they're having doubts about their relationship anyway. Like, they kind of mm. want a reason to break up. Yeah, this is yeah, what's going to yeah. push them over the edge. Mm. I don't think it, if, if it was a very, very loyal couple who had no issues, no nothing, mm. it might be a very, very... It probably would be a very different different situation. I think it would be 50% success rate. Yeah. Trust me. But even that's mad. Let me, let me throw a little curveball in, yeah? And I'm sure you guys have heard this before. Uh, we may have even spoken about this before as well. Yeah. They say, um, like, girls cheat more emotionally yeah. before they cheat physically and mm. mandem cheat more time just physically and they think with their dick yeah so what's worse emotional cheating or physical cheating in your opinion I think emotional say so for me it'd be physical bro really yeah I think emotional's worse don't get me wrong I'm breaking up with you either way innit but yeah yeah but emotion but, no the reason I say that is physicals can be lust it can be just like I said that shiny new toy mm. whereas emotional means you've connected on a deeper thing like you're letting them mm. into a part of you. I let you finish here. Go that's on, a go. deeper thing. Do you no, get I know, but that's why I hear that. But with me, it's like maybe it's where I come from and how I am as a person. But it's that element of like, you, you, whilst you was mine, you've let someone else touch you in that way. I could never look at you the same way. No, but I'm at saying. At least with the emotional thing, it's kind of like, okay, you felt a certain type of way towards someone, but you still kind of respected the fact that we're together. No, nah, we're talking about different things then. We, we I'm saying, let's say they both physically cheat, okay, but one okay. was out of emotion and one was out of physical. Like just oh, raw okay, physical. Okay, no, no, I'm talking one or the other. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, okay, I'm okay, talking, right. yeah, physical. Like I would, yeah, that's yeah, 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 that's yeah. worse. Okay, then, then agreed, yeah. yeah. Cool, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah no, I'm going to say the same as well, or like emotional as well. Like, if they cheat if they physically, cheat physically, but through emotion. Yeah, through emotion, yeah. That's worse. Mm. But I feel like women in general do, when they do cheat, it's because they're not feeling love sometimes or stuff is going wrong in a relationship. Mm. Or sometimes you, you'll be, it will be mad, bro. But sometimes it's just to get the man to wake up and kind of like, do you get me? Like to get him a bit jealous sometimes because he's just not putting in any effort. Like they'll just go and flirt mm. with another man or whatever. Mm. Men, when they cheat, usually, usually it's out of just dumb, Pure lust. physical, yeah. lust, mm. a new toy. She's looking over there, blah, blah. And they go and do it. Mm. That's what it usually is. See, I don't know. With me, yeah, I feel like Bro, if you're that unhappy, just leave, bro, innit? Yeah, like, bro. just leave, like, Now, bro, I like, get that. How you, how you gonna, like, but bro, you know what I mean? It's that safety in it of, I've still got a, a relationship that I've been in for four years, for example, or for yeah, five yeah, yeah. Some of these men, bro, like, they've been in a relationship for, for three years, four years, mm. and they love what they've got, mm. but it's just like, I'm here, let me use that opportunity, and let's just use it even in this context. I've built a relationship with my girl and, you know, I've been through bear shit with her and we've gone through the mud and we've come out on top and blah, blah, and I love everything about her. Mm. But it's just this new toy that I just want to kind of experiment with and then I'll come back. Like, yeah. they can still, like, have that love mm. and go and do a madness as well. Do you get me? But a lot of people won't, a lot of people won't understand that. See, my, my thing on it is, like, as a guy, I kind of, I understand, I understand it in it. Like, obviously, I know a lot of girls, it might be hard for them to comprehend that someone can, like, cheat on you physically and mm. still have that love for you. Mm. But for me, I understand that guys could possibly cheat physically mm. and still be do you know what i mean yeah emotionally but attached i think it's the thing is if you know that's almost the one thing which your girl would break her heart cheating then for me it's like even if you know you could probably do it and still love her yeah if that's just the one thing she's asked you like just don't cheat on me yeah. like i feel like that should be more of like a do you know what i mean Same no 100 stops you like yeah i'm not saying by any means that mm. your sexual drive and your lust should override your rational thinking and your yeah. emotional thinking and your do you get me what it, it, sh it definitely shouldn't mm. um and by the way men are the weaker link in this situation 100 percent. you know mm. what i'm gonna uh, cool i'll let you finish in and I'll, what i'm gonna disagree in it i don't think like i think girls cheat more i, nah, I don't no know way. i don't know whether it's more no or way. less but i think girls by the way that's just me just talking shit i'm just saying it for bands no. I think, I don't, I, there's no data behind what i'm saying i'm just I saying i think it. girls are sly with it like see for example <laughs> If I cheat, obviously, yeah, <laughs> yeah, disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm not cheating on no one, yeah. But if I did cheat on my girl, I looked at the camera. Like, I'd probably tell you. Do you know what I mean? I tell Hader. I tell you. I like, not not on a 
I don't know. I feel like guys, guys chat too much in it. That's our weakness. Mm-hmm. Like um, a guy will nah, cheat. Nah, girls off. chat, man. No, but wait, hear this, hear this. When guys like do stuff like cheat, they'll tell the man them because they feel like they got clout from it. Or, yeah, yeah. Or they don't. They don't hide it anyway. They don't won't hide it. One. Whereas I feel like with a female. Mm. A girl will cheat on her man and she won't even tell her best friend. Like, no one knows. Like, mm. she'll literally bury it in the deepest part of her, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, but it will eat away the at best her, friend will be the one telling her who to cheat with, bruv. I don't know. I just, girls I, nowadays, and before someone says, who hurt Hayden? Your girl hurt me. No, I'm joking. But now, for real, like, <laughs> it's... Uh, bro, I've seen some mad things, bro. I've seen my close brethren get destroyed. Not destroyed, but get effed over differently by girls. So yeah. I've seen some, but then again, girls watching this could even say, even you lot could say to me right now, but it doesn't mean guys have left over st- girls. Statistically, and I think it's just simpler to say, like it's, it's just out there, it's easier. Like it's easy to see men definitely cheat more than girls. Uh, definitely, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, bro. Def- I'm, I'm not. I'm not bro, saying there's you're wrong. No, there's I'm not saying no doubt about it. I women do cheat. A lot of women cheat. But I think, but yeah. men, bro, men will be I like think- men. Wait, wait, men will have kids. Like five years into a relationship, ten years into 20, 50, 60, they just get bored. Some of them just get bored, and you'll mm. never know they've done it. Some mm. of them never, they live double lives, bro. <laughs> men cheat more than women, one trillion percent, bro. And this ain't I even on some. Just this, ain't, this, ain't even, this ain't even on some symptom. While I'm being hundred yeah. percent, bro. Do you not what, think what, it's what, the narrative though? It's just the narrative we've been sold that men cheat more. No, uh, no, no. What do you no, think's no. the like? Cool. Out like what percentage of cheaters do you think are men? What, what would you say? No, he said, come with the numbers. 65, 70. So you say a majority, because me, I think it's maybe a bit less. I think it's more like 55, 60% nah. of men. Like, I feel like they make it sound like it's 90% men cheating and there's only a few girls that cheat. When in reality, I think it's a lot Bro, more. Bro, let me give you guys context here, yeah, yeah, just for, for an example. This isn't cheating, but this is an example of the mindset I've seen girls have. And this was going back maybe three or four years ago. I knew a girl mm. um, who was... Oh, I got a feeling that flag's gonna fall. Shit. Um, I knew a girl that was engaged and she was in the process of getting her nigga done. Mm. So, Islamically married, yeah? Like, yeah? I'm talking halls had been booked, rentals had been booked, yeah. Asian wedding shopping, jewelry, all of that was done. Yeah. But she was moving a bit mad online. So, I remember mm. speaking to her friend and I said, Yo, listen, don't mind me saying, but why is your friend moving like that? And these were, these were like Periscope days, like them days, yeah? I was like, Why is your friend moving a bit like, I swear, I swear she's about to get married in about, about a month? You know what she replies? Well, technically, there's no ring on her finger, so she's single. Now, bro, come on, bruv. Like, uh, yeah, but that's, bro, how many guys have had the wedding and had the whole marriage thing and had all of this and then still and gone and yeah, done but it? Like, that's, I'm, I'm sticking inside to them, man. That's, that's, nah, that's case, case, case by case basis. Case by case basis, bro. That's not... Nah, I'm fucking with you. Nah, 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 nah. All jokes aside... Uh, bro, think of it, think I, of it. How bro, does a man think you. and how does a woman think, yeah? Mm. When it comes to that sexual attraction, when it comes to it, women can dull their sexual senses a lot more than a man can, I think. Mm. And it's just in us, bro. Mm. It's like the man is known to be the one who mates, who goes and, you get me, like, and naturally speaking, like, as if we're going back to our animal instincts, mm. you're always looking at the best female to mate with because you're always thinking about your offspring, your, yeah. your offspring and your yeah, production. Yeah. Like, you're always thinking of that kind of stuff. Mm. Subconsciously, even, like, it's just your instincts, bro. It's something that's within us. Women don't have that. Lucy, as, and even if they do, cat. even if they do, it's, it's, bro, it's much, much lower than yeah, a man. I think with women, it's a little bit different in the sense of like, maybe women might not go out and look to cheat, mm. but if their, if their favourite rapper or football, like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, if yeah. like Drake. AJ pulled up. Like, yeah, or like how many girls are really staying? I don't know. I feel like of girls course, might not look to cheat. But if someone better than their man comes across, like you said, maybe whether it's taller, stronger, more money. Yeah, of course. A lot of girls. But that's mm-hmm. the, the mm-hmm. A, a, bro, anyone can be tempted. This is the point we're making. Yeah. You're trying to tell me you're in a relationship, Nicki Minaj slides into your DMs, you're blanking. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> He's it's chatting scary. so much shit. I was like, yeah, 100%. You hear the trembling in his voice yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's but. lies, bro. Nah, now, but even like, if it's not you, like yeah, I'm saying yeah. someone else, like you can be tempted. That's my point. It's yeah. there. But who acts on it more? I think men. As in, man, they might look for it more. Like, if a if a man's cheating on this girl, there's mm. a there's a chance that he even approached her. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I feel like girls, I don't know, girls do cheat. That's what I think. Girls do cheat. Mm. I think women maybe might be tempted more by, and I don't want to sound come across as like some gold digging thing, but women might be more tempted when it comes to money. Yeah. Rather than sexual. Like the sex side of sex, like the sexual driving thing, I think men are the weaker link in that. Yeah. Women, mm. 
Do you get me? Like I've heard a lot of stuff of like big models and like big celebrities and that as that check is on the table. Don't get me wrong, men will probably still bro, do a madness as well. Jay Z cheated on Beyonce, bro. That that's that's enough said. Yeah. Wait, what? Jay Z cheated on Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I'm talking about like women going and no, being no, no, tempted no, I'm just, with money. Just trying to give the example that yeah, yeah. like every every guy I probably have ever met would think Beyonce is like a ten ten. Yeah, right? yeah but then, exactly. But then you... if the guy who's actually with her cheated on her, yeah. so it goes Did to show, innit? Didn't like it. I'm sure, like, there's rumours that Kim K's cheated on Kanye with Drake. Like, yeah, but he's crazy. So I, I, get, I, I get it. I get, I get he's crazy, but at the same time, you could say financially. Nah, I doubt it, bro. I don't think Kim's. I, I think know. Drake whacked her. Yeah, I think. I Obviously, I, I've got little knowledge on the matter, but it, <laughs> sound, it sounds Uber realistic AM? to me, innit? Like, I could imagine Kim K and Drake. Oh, is doing that what it's about? Apparently, it is. I said Uber X to Hills. Apparently that's what it's about. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like women sometimes... Oh yeah, and Kiki, do you love me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiki. Oh, Kiki. Because that's her nickname, I think. Kim. Yeah. I swear. I think so, yeah. Drake's moving mad. Trust me, bro. Pick up Drake, man. See, and Shout you could say He's that. one person that if he slid into your girl's DMs, it's game over, I think. No, not mine personally. I've no, got no. a trim right now, so... I think it's a bit of game over. Me versus Drake lie. versus soon come. Well, I'll snap his legs. But, he Drake, yeah, bro, his security guards were you would even get within like four meters of this him. This guy's acting like I haven't done Muay Thai for about four years of my life. Me, you don't know me. about NXT, bro, you don't know about me, man. Look at Scar, my first appearance. He's trying to, <laughs> hear me. Me, he's trying to doubt me on that. I brush his hair for this time. <laughs> Come on, okay. Yeah, right, cool. I got a question for you, lot yeah. Then, yeah. I know you said that you think like physical cheating for you, or Hayes definitely said it, he's worse, but like. What do you think is worse, physical or emotional cheating? So like, would you would it be worse if your, I don't know, your girl told you she slept with a guy but it was a mistake, like mm. it didn't mean nothing, or if your girl was having, I don't know, hot to hot. Yeah, like your girl was every night. I don't know. She basically just loves oh. someone else, but she hasn't cheated on you. She's still in your marriage. She's still mm. looking still after your faithful. kids. She still stayed stayed faithful, but yeah. she just has. I don't know, whether it's like a. Not a gay best friend, but do you know what I mean? The yeah, yeah. Of like a Someone, gay best friend. From who, an emotional point of view. Yeah, a guy who, in reality, he's mm. probably waiting to, he's waiting to beat, but like, mm. yeah, he's yeah. just her shoulder to crown. What, what's, um, yeah. Do you want to go first? Yeah, if you don't mind. Uh, like, it, it would, it would burn me and hurt me as much as it would, probably a tiny bit less than it would if I caught her red-handed in flipping in bed with another guy, of course. But like, I don't know, it, it, it all depends because obviously the physical thing, sometimes you can justify it with lust, right? But the emotional thing, bro, you're taking time out to write messages and find the right emojis and all of that. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. feel like it is a very, there's a fine line, but either way, like I said before, regardless, I'm leaving in it. Like, but what's I'm, worse for you? Because you said physical before. I f <laughs> they'll, okay, they'll both kill me. They'll both hurt me immensely. Yeah, yeah. But if I was, if you want, if you want me to choose, then I'd say physical. Okay. Personally. So, like I said before, if it's physical, if they're both physically cheating, yeah. but one's out of emotion and one's out of just a physical one, yeah. then of course, like, the the physical side of things is less than mm -hmm. the emotional side of things. Yeah. yeah? But if you're saying they, the emotional side doesn't mean they're actually having intercourse or whatever. Yeah. It's just literally just staying up all night and texting. Now she actually feels like she likes him. Yeah. I still feel like you can make a comeback from that. As a man, as a man, with your girl there, yeah. you can fix certain things. And well, it's up to the person whether they want to or, or not. But I'm saying, if you really want to stay in the relationship, mm -hmm. as a man, you can look past that and be like, you know what? Yeah. Maybe he's giving you something that I haven't in, in emotion. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's being more understanding, more thoughtful. He's making you laugh or more, whatever it is, you can improve. Yeah, and you can step up your game. Nah, wait, you're wait, a lot more forgiving wait, than me. Wait, I would never wait, do that. You can you can improve and you can step up your game. Yeah, 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 maybe put a bit more effort into the relationship. It could be a bit of a wake up call. Yeah. Whereas when it's physical, I don't know. As a man, me personally, I don't know if I could look past that. And I I don't know. I can't touch her the same way, knowing that another man has done. Do you get me that same thing? Yeah. Whilst mm. she was with me. Listen, if whilst someone she, wait wait sorry whilst she was with me. It doesn't matter if she's done it before, whatever, like, yeah. that's a completely different situation. But while she was with me, to know that, it's, it's a bit mad, yeah. In my opinion, before you answer, Lewis, sorry, yeah, just one, one thing I add on is, if someone can access you in that way, they can have you. That's it. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, in terms of damage control, which one can you make a comeback from? It's up to you whether you want to make oh, a comeback okay. from if it or you, not. If you, if uh, I'm not saying go for it 100%. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, right, I'm saying, cool. if you cool. were, if you, bro, there's people who get physically cheated on and they stay in a relationship. 
because yeah. they just can't get. I don't know, man. That's that's what I'm trying to say. If you want to go back to it and you mm. want to go back to normal, yeah. I think you can recover from emotional I think more than physical. People need to rate themselves more, man. Yeah. Personally, you know what? I mean? I see before. I don't know. I hear. I hear. I hear both sides. I think. I don't know where it's. Just, I think it's just the way guys thinking it. But for me, probably being cheated on physically, it probably would cut me deeper in it. Mm. But I do fully understand what you're saying about like, if we wanted to make a comeback from one of them, mm. it'd probably be easier for me to like. Mm. Yeah, it'd definitely be easier for me to make a comeback emotionally than physically. Yeah. Mm. But both both of them, I don't know, both of them are hard. Both of them are yeah. terrible. Hundred yeah, percent. Both of them. Are I hard. think um, physical. The reason it affects us as men a lot is just because <clears> it makes you feel a bit less manly. Do you get me? Yeah. Mm. If it makes you feel a bit inad- inadequate, <laughs> makes you feel like, do you get me? Nah. And that's what that, that brother was feeling as well. Like, I could see it. Like a, a guy much bigger than him, more tattoos, muscular, more ma- deeper voice comes and he just beat his missus for four years. And you could tell like it hurt him deep, like it cut him deep. But then uh, you could argue emotionally, she could be sleeping with you and just thinking about my man. Mm. Yeah, that's a good argument actually. Yeah, fly kicks are getting dished out either way. <laughs> Million percent. But yeah, what's you what's one. you lot's opinion on um, people who get cheated on, and then decide to go back to the person and stay with them? Are we specifying guys or girls or just, just in general? Just in general. See, I think like each of their own. For me, it's just don't complain and then go back to them. Mm. Let's let's say let's say I was with a girl. Yeah. And I got cheated on. Yeah. And I said, oh, Amanda, mom. I'm gonna stay with her. What would you not say to me? Be honest. Wait, what type of cheating? Is it physical? Um, or? anything, whatever. Let's keep it physical for now because there's yeah. different answers for that. Yeah. If it's physical, yeah. What would you say to me? That I'll tell you the, yeah. Leave. But all right, let me say this. Yeah, let me say this. I've I've had a situation like this. Not me personally. I've had people who have been cheated on and they've gone and, you whatever in it. They've gone back to the relationship, whatever. Mm. One thing I learned in life, bro. You can't judge a situation until you've experienced it yourself. True. That's me personally. You can never ever judge an ex- a, a situation. You can never judge someone's reaction to something mm. unless you've physically been there, emotionally been there, know what they're going through, and you get me. You're yeah, able to true. come I'll out with it. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So I can't turn around and say, you know what, she's mm. or he's so so dumb for going back to her or him. I can't. Mm. That's me personally. I can't decide either way. Each relationship is different. It depends. Was it out of? Depends the intention of the cheating. Cheating is fucked regardless, but it depends the situation. The it's it's too it's too techy, bro. It's too too techy. Yeah. I, I would I would I don't think I'd give any advice like that All to right. be honest. Well, what would you say to me if that happened? Um, see, I just because of the way I am in terms of like my pride, I probably wouldn't really rate it. I personally would have said you know it should leave, but because I know you as a person. If that's genuine decision that you wanted and you're gonna do in affairs, but if it ever happened again, don't like, I don't mm. know, don't really like. I'll just come and I told you so in it. Like, don't yeah, like, yeah. surprise if. I thought like if they can cheat on you once, they can cheat on you again. That's really yeah. that's my thinking in it. Like, it is no hundred percent. It is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like if it got done to you, or done to you. God forbid. I wouldn't be coming and say, but bro, man, like your relationship is so good. No, no, I wouldn't come on that thing. Yeah. I'd still come and be like, that's disrespectful, bro. Mm. Like definitely definitely consider leaving like as she's crossed the line or mm. blah, blah blah like 100 percent. but i would never make the decision for you i'd never feed you with shit like bruv are you dumb if you get back with her, i'm never rating you again i would never do that yeah true excuse. i would never give you an ultimatum like that like mm. person because yes, i know there's some I people might like call, that. if that happened to one of you i might say i might say that but then be like but you're wet what do you mean i'll just be like yeah you're a bit moist if, if you if you're gonna get back with someone that no, didn't rate you innit? yeah because it's about rating it's like I'd want the best for you. Yeah. So I don't like knowing that you've gotten hurt in that context, in that situation. But if you want the best for me, then why would you want me to be with someone that fucked me over? But, yeah. Mm. yeah, I don't know. Do you yeah. know I guess like, like you said... Jefferson. No, but I'm not saying to be with them. I'm just saying I wouldn't give you advice that pushes you over the edge. Oh, okay. I'd let you make your own uh, yeah, like, okay. decision. Mm. Do you get me? Yeah. yeah. I'd feed you with stuff like, yeah, 100%. Good, good shit. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you deserve better. You, she doesn't clearly doesn't rate you in that sense. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is that, mm-hmm. but I would never be like, bruv, if you get back to with her, you're a flipping idiot. I would never, no, 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 because I've seen situations, like, bro. Even the first season, Donny again, spoiler alert, Donny um, went and cheated on his missus, found f- a mad emotional connection with a girl, mm. physically cheated on her. At the end of it, she had remained loyal throughout the whole thing. They get back, she knows everything he's done, mm. and she's begging him to stay with her. 
like crying. I beg you, please, please, please. And he's like, no, no, no. And he's telling her, you fucked up with this and you fucked up with that. And he's the one who's cheated and everything. But she, he's saying about stuff in the past, and like you, you push me into a corner, you gave me ultimatums, blah blah. blah. She's like, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. Blah. No, she's willing. She wants, to, like, she's dying for him to come back, knowing he's just beat her, uh, beat another girl, and fell in love with another girl. I just girl. don't think you should ever allow yourself to be that dependent on someone. Man. Yeah. Even, bro, I know it sounds a bit mad, but even if you're married, bro, like, I, I don't think I could ever, like, be so, like, I don't know, so dependent on one person to the point where. If they do me, if they do me dirty in the dirtiest way, mm. Mm. if they do me over, sorry, in the dirtiest way, mm. that I still want to, you know, beg to be with them. I, I don't ever see myself being in that position, and I pray to God, uh, me or my brethren or anyone I know, never is never in that situation, man. See, with that though, yeah, I think it's easier as guys for us to say that because no, if, it is. if we're looking like in the traditional, like you know, like traditional marriage, like the man's the breadwinner winner the woman's the one who looks after the kids and whatever yeah if you're looking at that sort of thing i could kind of see why in that sort of setting a woman would want to stay like imagine you're a woman yeah you've got your children you don't like you've got no income no nothing and then like your husband who's the only one who makes bare money like cheats mm. it's a thing where now if you don't stay with him some people might feel helpless in it like if i don't stay with him what do i do like, what do I have to my name? Mm-hmm. Like, like, it's... It's a shit situation for them. Yeah. Yeah, women are... Dead, but I feel like in general as well, women are more... We've spoken on it before. Women are more forgiven. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, their their hearts open up a lot more. They, I think they can be more understanding when it comes to Definitely, certain things man. as well. Definitely. Whereas a man, if it hits his pride and his ego, you're out. Mm. That's it. Whereas women, I don't think, have that pride and ego as much as men. Like, like if they had, then bro, even looking at another... Like, imagine, as a man right now... Yeah knowing your missus looked at another man and thought, oh, he's buff or whatever. Or, oh, uh, like... Yeah, it hurts your ego for sure. Like, that's... Like, your ego's crushed, bro. Like, as a man, you don't feel the same. So that's why a lot of men just lock it off completely. Whereas women, I don't think, have that. So they're able to kind of settle, understand. No, but everyone's got... Plus, like, they are a bit more emotional than men as yeah, well. Yeah, of course. But everyone has got even a tiny bit of a wandering eye, bro. Even the most innocent people, like... But people don't nat- understand that, bro. It's natural to be, oh... Yeah, on but the pe- train, or my man looked at oh that girl looked at, oh yeah, but people are people are robot. Not a, people. Not, think, I'm, not, I'm not approving of that. No, no, behavior. of course. I'm but people think that, that others are robots. People think that their significant other is a robot. Like I don't want to think about that, but does it exist? Probably. Yeah, of course. Like, of course. Yeah. You've looked at the same way you've probably looked at uh, an artist, a female artist, and thought, oh, she's nice. Who's to say your missus didn't, bro? But did she act on it? No. Did she? Did those inten- Did those thoughts even get anywhere? No, like, but some people come on this thing. I don't even want her to look at another man. I don't want her to think of another man. I don't want her to, bro. Mm. And and the same way with women as well. They think no, he's trash if he even you know follows any girls likes or looks girl. at any I saw girls. I tweet and- about that last night. Um, if if he if he likes a girl's picture, you may as well be single. Like, bro, like, bro, we're not robots, what man. What is like- this, man? Instagram is made to like pictures. Yeah. Mm. Like, fam, just yeah. Go therapy, man. Yeah, people, people just yeah. think you don't have, I don't know, you don't have um, emotional, like, I don't know, bro. Like, at the end of the day, we're human. We've got a lot of layers to us. We've got, a, our brain is very, very complex. It's very, very detailed. And you can't expect as a rope, like for someone to be a robot. Yes, no, yes, no. Like, look at something, either yes or no, and completely, like, do you get me? Completely mm-hmm. dismiss it. There's going to be but then, actions that where we, where we might fall short. Do you get no, me? definitely. But then I also feel with social media now, yeah, and I, and I guarantee you lot are going to agree with me, mm. awkward if you don't, that social media has made it like the definition of loyalty so bougie now. And it's like, bro, why do people boast about being loyal? Like lo- loyalty is, yeah. it's it should be unexpected, bro. It's almost mm. like, oh, well done on passing your exam. Bro, you were supposed to pass. That's why you took the exam. Mm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, why, mm. why, why are you celebrating that your partner's loyal? Like, bro, that's bare minimum, G. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... And then when people talk about it, that's one thing they look for. You know, that's the, uh, if they're not loyal and then if they're loyal during the talking stage, then, you know, all this stuff. It's mm. like, social media has made it even more confusing. Like, like for example, let's just, let's just focus on talking stages for this current Mm-mm. mid... I was going to bring that up. Yeah, let's talk about talking stage for this tiny conversation we're having within the main topic of today, yeah? Yeah. Like, I've met people who have said they don't believe in talking stages. Mm. They just think the term talking stage is a 
an excuse for youngsters to basically fuck around and not have loyalty attached to that person. And I do see that stance. But then I also think, all right, if I'm getting to know a girl and I haven't officially asked her to be my wife or my girlfriend or whatever, yeah? Mm. Then what am I doing? I'm talking to her. So mm. it is a talking stage. Mm. What you want to call it is different. We're getting to know each other. We're dating. We're seeing each other. We're, we're just friends and we're, with the potential of maybe being more than friends. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, the reality is it is a talking stage. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think um, as time has progressed, mm -hmm. generation upon generation, mm -hmm. the average, like, how do I explain it? The amount of people... The, the amount of the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever your, your interest is, mm -hmm. the amount of people you're speaking to in the talking stage, in the talking phase or whatever, has significantly increased mm. due to advances in technology, due to social media. Right now, you can have... About this a few episodes yeah, ago. but right now, you could have three, four, five... Girls, like, you've seen the tweets, men who aren't talking to six girls right now, what are you doing? Like, and women who aren't talking to 10 men guys, whatever, what, what are you mm. doing? Like, there are people out there like, and it's very, very common mm. that you'll talk to multiple people during the talking phase because you're trying to get to know other people and you're trying to just, mm, mm. like, your eye wanders a lot. Mm, mm. Like, and that's that, that builds something in you, bro. It's, mm. it's going to be programmed in you. Mm. It's not like you're just going to get into one relationship now and then that's it. You forgot completely who, who everyone else is and, you know, you don't look at, no, your eye will still wander. Whereas before, mm. it was mm. just dating, bro. It was just physically meeting up with the person yeah, and dating before them. Before socials. So, yeah. Before socials. So you had to physically put in 100%. You couldn't go on, on Monday, date Samantha, on Tuesday, date Diana, on Wednesday, date, you couldn't. Do you get me? Well, you could, but you didn't. Yeah. As much as now. Now it's like options galore, yeah, bro. Trust me, man. And the attention is mad as well because when, when you get a bit of attention now, you're kind of like, oh, man. Do you get me? You see them as an app. You don't see them as a person. Mm. Yeah, see see yeah. as a notification, yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. It's even, true. even cheating on the phone, you don't see it as a person. You see it as like, just a, like, just someone I'm kind of talking. Like, you messages, don't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah you don't yeah, see it yeah. as an emotional connection. Like, I'm cheating with them. Like, I'm sending them pictures. With, you don't see it like that. Do you get me? Mm. It can be seen a bit differently. And that's, I think that's fucking with us. Yeah, I but think, I don't know, I think... Sorry, go on. No, go on. No, I was just going to say that, but the talking stage thing, like, depending on who you ask and, like, obviously, as you remember, you were, I think, was it him or Jad was there for that episode? The Which one, one? With, about catching feelings online? No, it was me. They're, obviously, that was you, right? Yeah. When I said the whole thing about, what did she owe me? Obviously, online, social media took what I said out of context, right? Yeah. But it still kind of stands, but, like, you... What you know what let me go back to that clip here yeah, and really expand on it because mm. it was like I was actually if anything bigging up girls more and backing girls more in that clip than, than man them let me tell you why how many girls do we know that have been fucked over by a guy because a girl has stayed loyal mm. from the talking stage and all that mm. and the guy didn't officially say to her will you be my girl will you be my missus She's thinking she's in a full-blown relationship, mm. but in his eyes, he's being Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Technical Guy. Oh, Not well, te technically, we're just talking. So, yeah. I w if anything, I was actually backing the sisters. I was backing the girls who watch Hate Squared or just mm. whoever came across that clip, to be honest. Mm. But it's kind of a thing where it, it, it depends who you are and how you look at a talking stage. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Some people say, oh, if your eye is wandering from day one, yeah. then you may as well just stay single. Mm, but it's yeah. like... Some people can use the example of like a job interview. Like, um, you don't just apply for one job and wait for that one employer to get back to you. You maybe mm. apply, you put in your application and your yeah, CV yeah. for like maybe five to seven to maybe even 10 different employers. Yeah. Go for multiple interviews, depending on what offers you got, then you make a decision. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. That's not me saying people should do that or you shouldn't do that. Do whatever you want. I just just wanted to add on Hussein's point, innit? Yeah, kind of it even follows on from that, actually. I was just going to give an example. Um, Basically, I just think communication is so important. Mm -hmm. I was speaking to a girl once. This was, this was like a while back. Um, mm -hmm. And when we first started speaking, it was literally just like spoke on Snapchat, or whatever, like decided to meet up. It was good vibes. And from the first time we met, she basically just said to me, I'll be honest, like I'm just like got out of a relationship not too long ago. And like I'm dating in it. Like you're mm -hmm. not the only guy I chat to. I'm, I text like a few other guys. Not like, maybe she wasn't like, it wasn't like she was having intimate relationships with mm. loads of guys. It's more just the fact that like getting to know. Yeah, she was just texting a couple of people. Like mm. obviously she just met me. Like I'm not expecting her to block everyone that she was ever speaking to. She, for all she knows, I could be a weirdo in it. Like, and for me, 
I rated that so much because even though some people could see it as, oh, she basically told you you're a side thing or whatever. But for me, it was just like the fact you can just be honest and tell me mm. you're speaking to other people. So I'm not, do you know what I mean? Yeah. At the time, I was talking to not loads of people, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. there was more than one person that I was getting to know at the time. Mm. So the fact that we could both be honest with each other and say, you know what you are, I am too. And like it just made things so much easier. And then, mm. for example, as things progressed, it could just be like, you know what, I'm no longer speaking to X, Y, and Z. Mm. It's only you I'm giving my full attention to. So and I feel like that communication... That's, that's nice, man. Yeah, she had the, honest, the, from, the decency to be that honest. Yeah, for me, I just saw like it was such a high level of maturity to be able to admit that. And I think, especially for girls as well, I feel like guys, it's easy for guys to drop, but you're not my girl though, mm. or stuff like that, because it's just kind of what guys do. But as a girl, I feel like girls, there's sort of pressure behind them for them to be pure and not speaking to anyone and... Mm like playing the role so the fact that she was just honest with me i rated that so so yeah, highly yeah so when when she said that to you like what was your did you pursue it did it did it go anywhere or yeah well at first it was i think at first it maybe took me back a bit you know like guys ego is a yeah. bit like right well, talking to other guys yeah, yeah but then when i deeped it like what, i'm chatting to other girls like why am i like yeah why am i getting pressed yeah why am i why am i being upset like we we're young we've literally mm. just met like you know what yeah so it was like it obviously like we're not married today in it but like it, it went further than that first meeting and it made there was no pressure oh, okay, as we cool, were speaking cool, yeah cool cool cool, mm-hmm. cool. yeah now that's good but i mean trauma. i mean uh, and it could be even a cultural thing obviously you're black i'm asian so maybe it might be a thing where people from if if i went on a date with an asian girl for example yeah and i said oh by the way um i'm speaking to a few other girls just letting you know sort of you know out of respect or whatever but I, I think honestly if I'm keeping it real, I think if I said that to a girl, especially a girl from like a background like mine, yeah, bro, I don't, I don't think she, she'd want to chat to me again, mm. or she'd even want to like, she, she, she'd look at me like trash. Mm. Oh my god, what, what about loyalty, Mm-mm-mm. bro? Your eyes wandering. Oh, have some haya and, uh, and all this stuff, and it's like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, that's the thing. I can't even say which one's right or wrong. It's just everyone's got preference. Everyone's got preference. Mm. Um, I do think that sometimes especially people from our community need to realize that men and women both equally aren't robots like Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you will make mistakes you will be tempted you will some things will happen that you don't even want to think about Mm -hmm. like it might hurt your ego a little bit thinking that your significant other is maybe doing or thinking about Mm -hmm. yeah but it does happen Mm -hmm. and the sooner you accept that the more i think you're able to just move on have do you get me like contentment within a relationship no that's true that's true you get me facing the the facts so you get me? Even take it back. I'm going to take it back to biblical times, yeah? Mm. Joseph, you might have heard of him. Okay. Yeah? The prophet, Yusuf. Even then, bro, like, like, I'm using this as an example because we can both relate. You get me? Mm. Like, from the Christians can relate, the Muslims can relate. He got, I swear, he got tempted by the, the Egyptian thing. You get me? I don't know if you've heard the story. It rings a bell. So she kind of like locked him in, like in a room and something and said, nah, like, that's it. Like, your mind's basically type thing. Mm. Obviously, this is, uh, what's it called? Um, paraphrasing. Don't yeah. take it word for word. And he kind of, bro, he was like, I seek refuge in God, bro. Like, he, he was, he, he asked God for help. Yeah. Do you get me? And then dipped out of the situation. So it's not like, move, not even tempted, not even thinking about it, not even like, do you get me? Not, it happens yeah, yeah. to the best of us. But we, how we act on it, and it goes back to what you're saying. Obviously, we're much, much weaker than a prophet or someone, whether you believe in religion or not, like that's just an example in it, that someone mm-hmm. in, our, in our eyes, someone so high, etc. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It depends, uh, uh, us as humans, as, is it mortals or immortals, isn't it? Yeah, mortals. As mortals, refrain from even being in that situation, bro. Yeah. Like you can be tempted, by the way, temptation doesn't even have to be sex. It could be drinking, for example. It could be Smoking. doing things you don't want to really do. It could be robbing. It could be for money. Yeah. Like, temp- like, bro, I know so many people who are good youths their whole life and then now they're in prison because they got tempted by worldly desires, by money, by gums, by this because they've seen other men wear it, they've seen other men have it and now they suddenly want to do something stupid and be tempted by it. Do you get me? Mm, mm. So I think everyone can be tempted, yes. How do I get away from temptation from drink? I don't go to clubs. Mm. How do I get away from temptation from robbery? I maybe focus my attention and my value on things that aren't so materialistic. Mm-hmm. Or I surround my, myself with people who don't have these things. Mm-hmm. Do you get me? Definitely. Yeah, I find it, it, was, it was interesting you said, I can't remember which one of you said earlier, when you were saying about people might not cheat, but they like flirt around the idea of cheating. Like, I feel like 
as humans, we like, I don't know, when something's wrong, we like to sort of see how much of it we can do before mm. we cross the line. So, mm. like, I don't know, I've spoken to, like, people and maybe they've told me how they've cheated. And then I'll be like, bro, like, how did that happen? about like, bro, fam... I just, I just went, to, like, something, I just went to my ex's house. I needed to grab something. And then, like, I just had to get something from the room. And then, like, oh, like, she asked me if I wanted a drink. Yeah, and then, yeah, like, yeah. And, like, this whole time, I'm just thinking, but, bro, like, why would you even... You had so many opportunities to yeah, close like, it. Yeah, like, why up. did you even get there? Yeah, and, yeah. like, deep down, it's probably that thing of, oh, I just wanted to... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You just wanted yeah. to see what would happen kind of thing. Or, like, yeah. someone might DM you. And instead of just saying straight away, I've got a girl or I've got a man... Mm or even just ignoring it, it might just be like, oh, like, thank you. Like, I don't know, you just want to, people are, people are curious. That's what I'm it? saying, bro. Mm. It's curiosity. I don't know what it is. You're, you're right. I don't know what it is. I can't mm. put my finger on it because I don't know this stuff. I don't know if it's trying to test yourself to the limits. I don't know if it's just that, literally temptation is what mm. it is. And you just kind of want to see where it goes before, or you want to see that you won't be able to cross the line. I don't know what it is, but it happens, bro. And even that Meek Mill thing that you said, maybe it does make a bit more sense. Like, you just wouldn't reply. Yeah, yeah. You just wouldn't accept. Why would you accept a request and to just to say I got a man? Yeah. Yeah. Or even a thank you for the thank you for the compliment. You're kind of inviting them to give their all, mm. and then see what happens from there. Well, I don't know, man. I just think like with with everything that you, we've just spoken about, maybe in the past five minutes or so, in the example you gave of uh, the profit, yeah. example you gave of your mate and stuff, yeah. like you know, well, I don't know if it was a real example, but you know, what I'm trying to say like mm. of like, ending up at X house and stuff. It all, we all have um. Well, most of the train came back. <laughs> uh, did you hear that? Yeah. 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 It's, it, it it all falls back on like putting yourself in the best position, like the program. They're obviously there. Obviously, there's a TV show, so they're probably going to get some sort of financial gain. They're probably going to get followers online. Mm -hmm. You know, your 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 example you gave Lewis of your your person, your your mate or whoever you know who went back to their ex's house to get a jumper or whatever. And is mm. that like? She could have given it to a mutual friend. She could have mailed it to him. Bro, fuck the jumper, burn it, have it, keep it. You yeah, know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah. we don't, not everything needs to be, like, justified. Sometimes people just need to admit that they were looking for a bit of hope in it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Oh, um, you double, you, you can double tap a message and end a conversation nowadays. Mm. But, in, but instead, you chose to reply with, oh, so what about you? Yeah. How's, how's work? Yeah, or even an emoji just to kind of prompt something to see maybe if they want to reply or something. Trust me, man. Yeah, like, yeah. like, it's so. Sometimes, sometimes I tweeted it yesterday. Sometimes nowadays, like I'm, I'm, I get annoyed when people overdo a conversation. It's like, mm -hmm. all right, let it stop, man. Mm -mm -mm. My guy, my G, broski, my guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say no more. Yeah. Bro, shut up, man. Just let me go. <laughs> just bro. double tap and let me go. Yeah, just yeah. trust me, yeah, man. Just, yeah, yeah. Uh, I won't take it. I won't take it personal. Trust me, man. But it's, it is a very crazy kind of uh, topic because even the talking stage thing I said, the show that you're referring to, yeah. the examples you, you've given today, it, it, it's just a thing of like everyone's got their own definition like like how many oh, well, i don't know that many but how many people have we come across that are okay staying friends with their ex mm. still having their ex on social media their current girlfriend or boyfriend having mm. their ex partners on social media and they're replying to stories and stuff mm -hmm. it's just like, oh but we're civil but oh it's maturity no i don't know yeah. but I, to you it might be maturity to me I, actually if, that's that's an interesting question i know we've spoken about this we've, we've I don't want to go too far off tangent yeah, but mm. like, well, I'm asking you, Hussein, I have, I've, I've spoken to Hader about it before. Yeah. <laughs> it's caught of a few questions in one, but like, it, would you see an issue having an ex on social media still? Mm. Or like, for example, say like, if, you're, if your girl had her ex on socials, would that be an issue? Mm. Or would you still have exes on socials? Like, what's your sort of stance on it? Yeah, I can't run still. Yeah. So you're just a complete zero tolerance. Because yeah. yeah. there's right. there's history there. There's emotion. There's feelings. There's mm. physical. There's you've you're seen an them for a reason, man. Yeah, bro. You've reason. seen them yeah. in certain positions and certain situations. And do you get me? You're mm. vulnerable in certain mm. situations to them, and you have feelings. You had feelings. Like there's history there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't just clear history and then start fresh, bro. Mm. It's not. It's mm. what's it's Google Chrome. Come yeah. on, bro. Do you what about you? I'm just, I know your answer, but just for the See, camera. See me. Um, he's a peacemaker, bro. This guy. He's a politician. Me, bro. I'm more like conservative. What's the it? word? Conservative. Yeah. If we, <laughs> me, I right, cool. Green party. Trust me. For the same groups. For me to delete someone of social media, yeah, is because you're actively like annoying me or like I've had to block you. You yeah. forced my hand, kind of thing. So, for example, with like whether it be an ex girlfriend or. Mm. A girl I've spoken to and it just hasn't worked out or whatnot mm. for me 
I don't really deep. I don't really think about it too much. Mm. It's like, yeah, she's there, but I don't really because I'm not thinking about that person. I don't see mm. it as let mm. me go, like, unfollow or let me go mute or block. Like, even for example, like old photos. I've probably got old photos on my phone of like me and an ex or me and someone I've spoken to before. Not because mm. like I've kept them, but it's more because I've got thousands of photos on my camera. Or, like some people I know, they'll break up with an ex and they'll go through and search for every photo they yeah, can yeah. find in their camera roll. Mm. Me, I haven't really got the time or energy for that. For me, it's a thing. If I maybe bump into it, yeah, I might delete it. Like, no, I don't want that still there. But I'm not going to go through and thoroughly with like a fine tooth comb search. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I just feel like some people put too much energy into it. Mm. But that's that's me personally. That's more, I, I mean, feel like, that, sorry, I feel like that, that the, the gallery one, mm. yeah. that's more, I feel like for healing process and like a lot of people do it to heal, to kind of move on, to forget the past, whatever. But I used to think similar to you in a sense that, well, they're not really doing anything. They haven't really messaged me. They haven't really there. So maybe I can keep them on Instagram. But at the same time, bro, what are they doing there? Mm. Mm. Right, like, there's true. just no what, what, what point. What do you need? What's the need? There's to literally have them no in point vicinity, for me to follow yeah. them if they're not supporting my mm. my podcast. If they're not uh, wishing me a happy birthday. If they're not being nice. If they're not moving. If they're not doing anything. And you're yeah. just pre in my life. What's the yeah. point in having them? And I just remove. Yeah, but for me, because I don't necessarily think about certain people. I don't think about what's like. I've got people from like primary school on Instagram that I haven't spoke to in ten plus years. And yeah. I don't think about. And if I saw their profile, I'd probably be like, oh, like, I follow my man. Mm. But for me, it's like, I'm not going to, un- because I don't think about them, they're insignificant. It's just not something I think about. Like, mm. it's just... Mm. Yeah, school friends, I think is different. For me, I've got bare school friends. Yeah. Bare, bare, bare. Mm. But I'm talking about them people that you just met, you DM'd once, they DM'd you, God knows, or they just followed you. Literally, sometimes it could just be a follow and you followed back. No interaction at all. Yeah. They're just there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's the point for me? Yeah, if you're, if you're just sitting there spectating my whole life, yeah. as you said, happy birthday, no support in the pod yeah. just 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 literally you're just spectating like a robot and all you do is just pre my shit you don't like mm. my post you don't comment you don't you, you all you do is watch my life mm. then either i unfollow you you can carry on following me obviously ratio mm. and that mm. hit me or if you if you if we've got a if i've got a reason to think you know what i could even say this person actually falls under negative energy yeah then i'll just remove the person you know what i'm saying mm. like a lot of people have this ego problem oh if i if I block my ex, then it's going to show that they got to me. Bro, it doesn't... What does that even mean? Like, how mm. many times have I come across... I don't know if you've come across that. We must have spoken about it before. It's like, mm. bro, I don't care how I'm perceived by someone. Because number one, if, if we're not together anymore, what you think of me is irrelevant. Now, it's none of my business anymore what you think of me because we're not mm. actually together. Mm. And number two, it's like, if I'm blocking you, I'm blocking you for me, not... I'm trying to get at you. Yeah, yeah. I'm blocking you because I don't want to see your shit. Yeah, there's no mm. point having it. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, obviously, I will say this though. I very, very, I'm talking once in a blue moon, really block someone. Mm. Unfriend may be a bit more regular or remove and unfollow. That's a bit calm. Mm. But if I block you, yeah. like actual block, just know like you've done something yeah, very yeah. wrong or like I, th- there's a big reason for me to not want to see your shit ever again. Yeah, yeah, like I never block people. So uh, got, got, I got a scenario, yeah. Right. But like, say for example... Oh, we're good for time, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Say you was like just chatting to a girl, DM'd a few times, been on a few dates. Like, like you, you say you were talking to each other and mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. for some reason things like fizzled out or whatnot. Like, would you, would you then unfollow like um, do, you, do you know what it is for me bro I feel like having them on there keeping them there mm-hmm. is kind of you remember that thing of what we spoke about about kind of wanting to be tested and wanting to be you know want to see where things go and yeah. if you really didn't want it you take yourself out of that situation completely that's what I think it is for me like yeah. if I really don't see anything with her and I really let's say I, now I've got a missus yeah, yeah. and I really like there's no reason to keep her there and she's not, we're not friends, we're not nothing. And we've just been on a couple of dates and yeah. me keeping her is probably me wanting to be tempted. Yeah. Just yeah. in case she pops up late night on a 3am yeah. saying, yo, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. And even if you didn't want to be tempted, you would probably just remove her just for the sake of yeah, yeah. the fact that you could be tempted one yeah, day. Yeah. So you'd rather like... That's remove, what I'm saying. Remove, Ira- like, remove all hurdles. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Get you rid of that risk say. completely. Just because we can be tempted, but yeah. taking in them processes to not, taking in them steps yeah. to not be in that situation at all maybe it's my maybe it's a personal naivety in it like mm. in my head i feel like if i don't 
if I ain't speaking to someone, I don't want to speak to them. We're mm-hmm. not going to speak. Mm-hmm. Like in my head, maybe I'm in my head. I feel like I'm a hundred percent. Even if they e- DM'd me on a three AM thing, like what are you doing? If I don't want to speak to you, I'm not. Like then, may, then wrong, maybe I'd reply. block. Then maybe I'd block you. Mm-hmm. But then maybe I'd unfriend you. But if you're not bothering me, I'm not bothering you. Like I don't know. Yeah. It's just yeah. like yeah. Like just keep it stepping. Yeah. Like right, cool. Another scenario actually, I've got for you lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See if you you and your wife living together kids family whatever one day you go to clear out the garage the loft attic wherever oh, it God. is and you see old love letters from like her ex back in 2010 so like, long day bef- before before like mm. you two were together whatnot mm. i'm talking but like it's in one like it's not like it she's kept it in one secret box yeah it's just like tied up with old birthday cards like in the middle of are you making is that a big is that an issue to as you? in those letters were coming when we were together no 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 no, no, no. no. so Previously. like her ex before you wrote her poems and whatnot she's probably just got the most like it's just it's in with her junk and she just said like she just forgot about them there and junk would that be an issue for you what i'll do is i'd memorize the letter drop the same buzz and if she doesn't get rude <laughs> then i'll be like get out of here no if it's <laughs> a genuine mistake <laughs> no, yeah. if it's genuinely forgot about it it's different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I thought you were going to take another turn there. I thought you were going to say she's got them there, she's put them in a box and blah, blah, blah. Something. That's a different one. Yeah. But if it's put with like school reports and that and she was, he was her man at 18 yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's like, she just forgot about it, she just kept it there. It's not really that deep. Mm. Yeah, but if she starts acting up now when she wants to, like when I say, oh yeah, listen, but like dispose of them, minute, Like relax. And then now she wants to, no, but it's cute and it's meant, then maybe I'll start doing mm. backflips. Uh, disclaimer, actually. See how I said, for example, I've got like, whether it be an ex or an old link or whatever on socials if my current girl new girl whatever had an issue with it they'll go 100 mm. percent. like it wouldn't even be an argument matter. Mm. like if that's if my current girl thinks has an issue with me having an old person to speak to on socials then mm. i'll respect what she wants in it mm. but if it's me just it was more just like a personal thing where mm. like just don't think about it like, yeah, yeah, yeah maybe like after for example conversations like this it might make me be a little bit more aware like you know mm. what let me go through and delete Mm. X, Y, and Z. Mm. But until I've had conversations like this, mm. it's just mm. something that I've never really thought about. It's just, yeah. I don't know, like. Mm-hmm. Bro, even me sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah, like, moving off the whole relationship type of stuff. Like, I've, like, you know them situations that I, that I ask you about when it comes to money? <laughs> Bro, I'll categorically say no, never, this, that. If the money's on the table, bro, Mm. Do you get me? It might be a completely different situation, and we all might. Yeah, of course. We all man. might. Like it's it's all nice saying, bro. Like, would you sell foot picks for ten bags? Sell so what picks? Foot picks for ten bags. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, true. Say. <laughs> would it's you? Only, it's only yeah, a foot. I don't bag. know for free. No, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I would. It's a bit weird to me. Like, imagine they know it's you as well. Oh, I don't know. Imagine yeah, he tags you. My feet ain't that pretty. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine so. he tags you. That's calm, bro. Remove tag like that. No, 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 no. It's like it's like there in Britain. Oh, that's nah, cool, that's bro. Bit, I don't. That's yeah. a bit mad. It'd have to be more than ten yeah, bags for that. That's what I'm saying, bro. But then, like, I'll say no, no, no. But when the situation is there, you can see my snaps in Dubai, isn't it? Ten no, bags. I'm joking, I'm joking. Ten bags just to take a quick snap. Like the people will do it, bro. It's mad. So you can say all of this, but mm. until the situation is actually there, bro, it's mad. Like that's my point. Sexual thing isn't the only temptation mm. we have in this world. Actually, I got another question. Yeah. Mm. See, I, I got a funny scenario for you lot as well. Ah, uh, can I? Uh, so if I. T- if I tell you mm. that my girl cheated on me, mm. but I've cheated on her first, mm. would you like? Would you tell me leave? So I cheat on my girl, she takes me back, forgives me, and then she cheats on me. Yeah. Me, would you tell me to leave, or would you be like, it's calm or like mm. balances the scale? Here, do you take this one? Because I, I'm not, I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. That's All a right, sticky so, situation. So you've right? cheated. Yeah. And. She clocked you. Yeah. She forg- yeah. She's, she forgave you. Yeah. You moved on. Yeah. Now she's cheated. Yeah. What I would tell you is, you're so both just draw. dickheads. You're both just dickheads. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're both just pricks. I, I don't. I, I think. I think you both are just as bad as each other, and you both should have just left each other time ago. You don't. If you if you beat another thing and, mm. uh, bro, just. I don't know. Yeah, bro. that's a bit. I'll oh. just be like you're both. You're you're both just dickheads. Yeah. Straight up. I'll t- I'll tell you off as much as telling her off. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it's a bit of a stick on. Mm, but if you wanted to stay, I, I don't know. Like, what if I didn't get caught? If you didn't get caught, so, ooh. I cheated on a girl, didn't get caught, and then she cheated on me. 
Oof, that's a sticky. And I want to make a big deal out of it. Would you? Would you say like, yeah, you know what, done past, you've done out here, or would you be like, you know what? Depends how toxic you want to be. So techie, bro. I can give you the toxic answer off camera because so I don't want, I don't want to ruin my potential. So, no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but like, I don't know, bro. It's a, that's too techie. It it it, it becomes more about your like your ethics as a person and your yeah. like integrity in it. Like, if you if you were looking for a reason to leave, I would say, bro, fuck it, man, just just use this as a scapegoat and just cut. Yeah, but if you yeah. actually love her and she still didn't know, then I don't know. I might have to have the conversation with you. Mm. That's a mad one, I bro. I don't know, right? That's a very Lewis sticky coming up with some crazy Trust scenarios. Me, but let, let me give you a scenario as well, yeah? Mm. What would you do if your current missus yeah. had an ex-partner? What would I say? Huh? No, go on. <laughs> um, and that their ex-boyfriend or whatever um, died and she was bare crying. What would you do? <laughs> what would you do? I don't know about that, bare laugh. Bro, why is that so bad though, bro? Nah, because no, 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 I've seen some people tweet saying, if she's crying more than like 10, 15 You know minutes, what it is? You know what I'm it is? Gone. If it's them, man, then I'm calm, innit? If it's, what? If it's like, if it's like, oh man, that's a bit sad. No, 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 I'm talking, she's balling. If she's balling, then I'll be like. For like days and days and days. I'll be like, relax. She ain't eating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calling in sick to work and that. Oh, that's mad. What you gotta do? You something, the something. You gotta stay in, you gotta. You gotta fake her indefinite and see how much she cries. I'm going, I'm going through her phone. That's a red flag right there, man. Crying for decades, crying for months, crying for weeks. Yeah, nah. You're crying over your ex for longer than ten minutes. Yeah, it depends. Like you're some, some depends. people. Free, just... free, free tears per cheek, Max. <laughs> like some, some girls are just <laughs> emotional <laughs> in it. Like some girls are emotional. They cry in general in it. So if I know my girls are crying, like you know, just be crying. Oh, I just saw dead. Pigeon, like watch find a Nemo crying. start bawling yeah, her eyes out. Like, yeah. Then cool, fair. Man said, man like, said find a dead pigeon start crying. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, <laughs> I didn't even hear that. Whoa. <laughs> That's the wrong film, buddy. It's finding Nemo, not finding a dead pigeon. <laughs> nah, but you know what I'm saying? Now, some people just cry in general. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're mm. sad at just the loss of like, life tea's in general. Cold in that, yeah. Mm. yeah, whereas like, if I know she's not really a mad crier like that and then she's bare crying over my man, it's a bit like, all right, like... You know them yeah. cries where you can't hear them breathe anymore? You can't yeah, hear them. Just... <laughs> no, it's like, it's like so you just... And then the loud one comes out. If it's that one, oh, oh man. Bro, that, 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 I'm having that, an emergency. That's meeting. when you get licks from your mum when you're yeah, a kid. Yeah, you can't yeah. breathe for about 45 yeah. seconds. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's emergency meeting straight away.